This video will demonstrate the use of G-Clone by CPR Tools. G-Clone is a G-List cloning utility that comes with every Cyclone. We assume that you understand the functionality of Cyclone and the definition of the G-List. If you require more information on these items, please visit us at www.cprtools.net. You can see that we have our toolbox already running. We have a Cyclone attached to it, along with a drive on each side of the Cyclone powered up. In order to start G-Clone, you must select the drive on the A side, and go under Drive Utilities, and select G-Clone. G-Clone has four main areas. The actual drive that you'll be working with, once again, will only be drives on the A side. The options. The options here are a retry count, so on a failed read, you can retry the read up to three times. And prepend the LBA number to the saved data. We'll explain that more later. You have a progress area where the number of defects will appear as well as any read-write errors that are encountered. You also have a status bar that will tell you the status of the reads. You have a read button and a cancel button. You have a results window. Within the results window, the information displayed can be saved, printed, or cleared. So let's begin. We'll select this drive. Our retry count will leave at zero, but we will prepend the LBA number to the saved data. And we'll explain and show you this in a minute. And then simply click the read button. It's going to ask us where we want to save the data. We'll stay in the default area and we'll call our file test. We can see that this drive does have a G-List and there are defects in the G-List. If there were no defects listed in the G-List, the software would tell you that. You can see that we had 40 defective sectors in the G-List. Here tells us where we saved it and it tells us that the process was complete. Now to save this results window we can simply click Save if we want to. Name our file and click Save. We can also print this information and of course we can clear this window. Now we've already got a sector viewer utility up so that we can view the G-listed sectors. You see this is our test bin file. This is where we prepended the LBA numbers. If we had chosen not to do that, this information would not appear because it doesn't exist within the LBAs in the G-list. You see that there is some data listed in these sectors and these are the sectors that we saved from the G-List. That's G-Clone by CPR Tools.